Greetings, lovely souls, and a warm welcome to this sacred space. I am Rowena, and I'm truly honored to guide you through this transformative hypnotic experience today. Before we begin, I want to remind you to find a quiet and comfortable space where you can fully immerse in this moment of self-discovery and relaxation. Whether you're sitting or lying down. Let your body settle into a state of relaxation. I encourage you to pause any distractions or responsibilities for now. This is your time to nourish your mind, body, and soul. As we embark on this inner journey, remember to refrain from engaging any activities that require your attention, such as driving or operating machinery. Allow yourself to surrender to the present moment. Let go of any tension, worries, or thoughts that may be clouding your mind. Feel the ground beneath you supporting your body, and let your breath become your anchor to the present moment. Throughout this journey, you're in complete control. If at any point you feel uncomfortable or wish to end the session, gently open your eyes and return to your awareness. Thank you for joining me today, dear souls. May this experience bring you the peace and clarity you seek. Now let us begin. Close your eyes, take a deep breath, and let the journey unfold. As you continue to relax into this calm and comfortable feeling, I would like you to use your imagination to the very best of your ability. And imagine yourself walking towards a beautiful forest. This could be a forest that you have visited sometime in the past, or it could be one that you've made up in your mind right now. Ahead of you is a little clearing with a path that leads through the trees. And there are little signs pointing you in the direction of a popular woodland trail. At the moment, the trees are spaced apart just enough for you to see the sunlight dappling through, and you can hear the sound of bird song in the branches of the trees overhead. You wander into the forest, feeling very calm and very relaxed, and intrigued to see where this path leads to. As you walk steadily along, you can feel and hear the sounds of crackling twigs and broken branches beneath your feet, and you can see the carpet of autumn leaves on the ground. And they seem to form an intricate pattern of gold and yellow, orange and brown. You notice pine cones and conkers, some shatter under the piles of leaves, and are reminder of lively childhood days when you were free to explore. Venturing further into the forest, you become aware of the powerful earthy aroma, and this makes you feel connected to the forest as you drift deeper and deeper into gentle relaxation. To one side of you are bramble bushes adorned with succulent blackberries, and looking still further ahead, you notice that some of the trees are covered with ivy and pretty woodland flowers that you have yet to identify. A movement on one of the trees alerts you to the presence of a squirrel, and you watch for a moment, fascinated as it darts up and down a tree, and is swiftly followed by another squirrel with a long bushy tail. 
you realize that the forest is abundant with wildlife, and somehow they all seem to exist in harmony with each other. You see trees with twisted, gnarled roots and hollows in their trunks, and absentmindedly wonder what sort of creature lived deep in the hole. Continue your trial. You reach a small stream that winds through the trees, so you follow its path for a while. You hear the gurgling water as the stream meanders on its way. In some places, a small bridge has formed by an overhanging dead tree. On large boulders that seem to have been deliberately and carefully placed into the water to help others to cross. You pause for a moment to reflect on the stream, noticing the gushing sound of cascading water from where the stream springs. Looking into the distance, you can see that the waterfall is formed on the slope, and you realize this must be its beginning. You feel very much at home here in the forest, and go deeper and deeper and deeper relaxed, feeling ever more comfortable with each moment that passes. Kneeling over the stream, you cup your hands and dip them into the water, feeling the crystal clear water trickling through the spaces between your fingers. Inside the stream are iridescent pebbles settled on its surface, and tiny fish here and there. Starting from beneath and rising to a place of safety and solace. Your mind is beginning to wander now. That's fine. Allow it to drift where it will as you continue to follow my voice and this beautiful, peaceful woodland trail. I'm now going to count the numbers from five to zero, and with each and every descending number, I want you to take yourself even deeper into a gentle hypnotic trance. Five, four, three, two, and you're going deeper and deeper. One and zero. That's good. You are now feeling more comfortably relaxed than you have felt long, long time. I want to show you a beautiful patch of blue bell further into the forest. So come along. Tread carefully as the forest is becoming a little deeper now. But you are still feeling wonderfully relaxed and calm. Just ahead of you, notice the bluebells. They're amazing, even bluer than the most beautiful blue you have ever seen. Their heads hung down slightly, as if bowing in modesty after receiving a compliment. And the smells of the earth and the forest fill your body, your mind. And you saw. I want you to pause for a few moments more and reflect upon what this experience means to you. You know there are issues in your life. That you wish to address, 
and the forest walk is clearing your mind and filling your energy with reserves with hope and positivity. Being alone in nature in this way seems to put things into perspective. And you can see there are paths that you can take and places you can explore. And somehow know that everything will turn out well. You continue to walk. Noticing the grasshoppers and ladybirds playing amongst the flowers, and a family of rabbits or hares, and a baby leveret practicing its mischievous antics. Amazingly, the creature don't appear to be disturbed by your presence, and watching them play. Offers you a type of reassurance you find difficult to describe. Again, it is as though everything is connected, everything and everyone, and this makes you feel good. It makes you feel at one with nature, your surroundings, and the whole universe. And you're now very comfortably relaxed, and your mind is open and receptive to any and all suggestions that it hears, providing, as you know, they are for the benefit of your health and well-being. After a short while, you're ready to continue the last stage of this deepening journey. And further ahead of you, you notice there is another level to the forest. To reach the deepest level, you will need to descend the ten steps that lead gently down. So when you are ready, I will count those steps off for you one by one. There is plenty of support to help you down these steps, and when you eventually reach the bottom and enjoy this deep area of the forest, you can be reassured that the only way back will be up. So whenever you're ready, come with me down the steps. Ten. One foot in front of the other, you're doing well. Nine, feel yourself going just a little deeper into relaxation. Eight, you're feeling more comfortable and relaxed with each and every descending number. Seven, you're going even deeper into hypnosis. Six. You're relaxing more and more. Five, you're already halfway there. Take a look around and see just how far you have actually come. Four, another step down. That's right. You're going deeper and deeper. Three, you're almost there at the deepest level of relaxation. That it is possible for you to go at this time. Just two more steps to go. Two, nearly there. Feeling already wonderfully calm and all so relaxed. One, that's it. Just one more step down to zero. And zero. You are now in the very deepest level of relaxation, and your mind is open and receptive to the suggestions it is going to hear. Well done. Just relax even deeper for a few moments more, and when you next hear my voice, you won't be startled or alarmed.
Drift deeper down now into this warm and comfortable feeling, because your mind is open and receptive to the messages that you're about to hear, and the messages will very soon become deeply embedded in your subconscious mind as you begin to create your new program of good luck and intuition. You may feel that some people seem to have been born with a proverbial silver spoon in their mouths. It's as though they have traveled through life, attracting the sort of good fortune that most people could only ever dream about. When things don't turn out as they'd hoped, they quickly bounce back and land on their feet, overcoming any setbacks that life. Put in their way. What is more, new openings always seem to crop up for them as they grasp one opportunity after another and acquire an abundance of all desirable things. You may indeed wonder why this happens. Are these people doing something you don't know about? And how is it that they can succeed where you didn't? Do they really live such a charmed life? Were they born to be lucky? It may seem that some sort of magical force is at work for them, but the truth. As I'm sure you know, is that magic plays no part in their luck. The secret they share with other lucky people is that they take advantage of opening and opportunities when they arise. Just as importantly, they believe in themselves, and they make things happen. And here in hypnosis, you're going to discover how easy it is for you to create the same level of luck and intuition for yourself. Creating luck and intuition doesn't involve anything out of the ordinary. It is simply a matter of having the right mindset, and this is something you can easily achieve. You are the master of your own destiny, and your thoughts and the way you think about yourself and others are the keys to unlocking the door to your creative, intuitive, prosperous future. For what your mind can conceive, you can achieve. So allow your mind to receive, observe, and act upon the messages you hear. Because here in hypnosis, today, right now, in fact, your way of thinking and feeling is changing. Instead of wasting time by overthinking and exploring your feelings, you are now going to trust your natural gift of intuition and welcome good luck into your life. You find the negative thoughts that once held you back are changing into new, healthy, positive thoughts. The first thing I want you to do is to change your way of thinking with regard to bad luck. Perhaps you can remember an incident from your past that didn't turn out how you wished, and maybe you felt that, because of this and other events in your life, you simply want luck. 
I'm going to be quiet for a moment or two to allow such memory to come forward. And when it does, I want you to review the aftermath of that event. How did it eventually and really turn out? I don't mean something like not winning the lottery. I want you to choose something that was more personal to you and didn't turn out as you wanted to, due to circumstances or inaction. Try to remember that incident and its outcome. Some things don't happen when we want them to because the time isn't right. But something else might happen instead, and we can often learn from those experiences. So, what did you learn from the incident you remembered? And how did you apply your new learning to a subsequent event? It's strange how some of those old proverbs are spot on the mark. When one door closes, another one invariably opens. There are so many opportunities in life, and they are all there for the taking. So just reach out and embrace each new experience that, that you feel will benefit you. Stop thinking of bad luck right now. You are as lucky as you want to be. Often, people think they're unlucky because they believe that nothing good ever happens to them. They sit at home waiting for luck, instead of doing something constructive to attract it. There is another old saying that one must speculate to accumulate. This doesn't just apply to financial investment. You can be wealthy in so many different areas of life. But we might talk ourselves out of taking speculative risks. Instead of using our intuition to give ourselves the chance to succeed. Carl Jung, who was undeniably one of the greatest psychotherapists of all time, described people as being introverted and extroverted. From there, each personality branches into four psychological types of consciousness, which he identified as thinking, feeling, sensation, and intuitive. While list the thinking, feeling, and sensation are self-explanatory functions, intuitiveness is harder to define, and in some languages, the term doesn't even exist, and there is no literal translation at all for the word. Intuition is a function that allows us to see around corners which, of course, we can't really do. Intuition is a hunch, a type of perception that goes via the unconscious. We might say, I don't know how it works, but it just does. 
and usually we are right because we are using our intuition. An intuitive person is someone who plants a field and, before the crop is ripe, is off again to plant a new field until they have plowed fields behind and new hopes ahead all of the time. The intuitive type is usually not bothered by the reality and instead is excited about the possibilities. And possibilities are there in abundance. According to John, investor, inventors, and judges are often intuitive, as are those who work on the stock exchange and making millions for themselves. And you are here to develop your intuition and admit luck and fortune into your life. From now on, you build up and maintain a strong network of luck, and you are beginning to feel happier with a much more relaxed attitude to life. You open your mind to new possibilities and new experiences, welcoming them with open arms. An important factor to help you become lucky is to listen to your gut feelings and lucky hunches. From now on, you instinctively know what is right and what is wrong because you trust yourself. In the past, you didn't always listen to or follow your instinct. So I'm going to show you now, here in hypnosis, just how easy it is. Okay. So think of a problem you have, something that would like to resolve, but are unsure of what you should or should not do. Good. Now I want you to bring that issue on a very special journey to the wisest person you know, who is, of course, your deeper inner self. This is a part of you that knows everything about you. This is a part of you that has been with you since the moment of your conception, and even if in the past. You didn't ask for or listen to its guidance. It was still there, waiting patiently for you. Your deeper self is your inner advisor, your guardian angel, if you like, and it is sitting alone in a room with two chairs. Imagine yourself, along with the issue, walking into the room. And your inner advisor is sitting in one chair and invites you to sit opposite. Your inner advisor asks you to describe your problem, along with each of your options. It doesn't ask for facts or figures or logic or reason. It doesn't want to know what you will gain or lose from these options. Your inner advisor only wants to know how your gut instinct tells you about each one, which option feels right, which one feels wrong. You don't consciously need to think about what you're going to say. You don't even need to say the words in your head, all aloud. You have already become aware of what problems you need help with, 
So instead, you rely on your hunch, your gut feeling that is deep within you. Zhang's personality types include thinking, feeling, sensation, but you are relying on intuition. I cannot expect you to be able to describe, or sense, or think, or feel the solution to your problem when using your intuition. However, you will get a feeling of all knowing. There is something inside you which just indicates to you in a way that you understand. This is how you solve problems by using your intuition. So I want you to do this now. And I'll be quiet for a moment or two. If you wish to speak out loud or in your own private thoughts, then you can. That's good. Now imagine yourself writing a letter to let someone involved know of your intention. Do this now in your mind while lest I am quiet again. Good. Now consciously, how do you really feel about this? Is this the right thing to do? Do you feel easy about taking this step? You are holding your future in your hands. Do you really want to send that letter, or is there something inside telling you that it's not right? Is that your intuition, or are you afraid of change? What does your inner voice tell you? You may decide to trust your inner advisor. All evidence to the contrary may outweigh your decision, but at least you have listened to yourself. Practice visiting your inner advisor whenever you are in doubt, and very soon, once your inner advisor realizes that you are willing to listen, it will come forward spontaneously whenever necessary, and you will be happy that you have listened to your own inner voice. Of course, even intuition cannot really tell us exactly what is around the corner, but it does have a good idea. And if you prefer to use your thoughts, or feelings, or consult probabilities, or seek advice from others, 
often you can. But more often than not, your intuition is spot on, and afterwards, you can congratulate yourself on having made your own correct decision. Remembering that even if that decision wasn't the best that it could be, it was certainly the best at the time. When you open your mind to the infinite possibilities that life has to offer, and when you dismiss the negative thoughts that try to force their way into your thoughts, and the naysayers who try to convince you not to do what your intuition guides you to do, you are open the door to allow luck to enter. All of us have bad luck and good luck at times in our lives. The people who persist through the bad luck are the ones who are ready when the good luck returns, and are in just the right frame of mind to receive it. Positive thoughts attract positive action. Lucky people are simply more observant; they are more optimistic, and have positive expectations. And those expectations lead to self-fulfilling prophecies. When things don't turn out as expected, lucky people turn the situation around and extract the goodness from it. For example, learn from a valuable lesson that life is offering. You might like to compare luck with a bank account. The more goodness and kindness you deposit into your account, the more there is for you to withdraw, and the luckier you become. So make your deposits by developing kindness, humility. Compassion and love. Be true to yourself, and treat others as you would like them to treat you. Pay lots of deposits into your account, and watch the interest accumulate. And as you do this, interest in the form of good fortune is returned to you in abundance. Expect good fortune to come your way, and it does. Keep your eyes and your mind open and receptive, and be ready to make the most of the opportunities that come your way. Tell yourself that you deserve to be lucky. Expect good luck, and don't be surprised or too proud when it comes your way. I want you to repeat the following affirmations in your mind after me. I expect good fortune to happen to me, and when it does, I'm not surprised. The universe is here to support me, and I offer in return goodness and positive thoughts. I believe I am worthy of good luck. And embrace it when it comes my way. My mind is open and receptive to the possibilities that life has to offer. I appreciate my luck and good fortune, and accept it gracefully and thankfully. And these suggestions are firmly embedded in your subconscious mind, and grow stronger and stronger day by day. They grow stronger by the day, stronger by the hour, stronger by the minute.
And now, it's time to release yourself from this hypnotic experience. If you wish to wake up and continue with your day, then simply count the numbers from one to five in your subconscious mind, and you will awaken, feeling refreshed and reinvigorated, and ready to allow these suggestions to work for you. If, however, you would rather rest or sleep, then as the background music fades away, so will you, into the warm and comfortable safety of your wonderful dreams. <laughs>